So yes, I am going to be debunking every single fear mongering platform there is out there known to mankind. When I started the J Juice, as far as the protocol, I wanted to figure out what kept us alive and what caused us death. And it took me three years to figure out what has kept us alive. And then it took me three years to figure out what causes death. And so, you know, not only have I reversed my whole position on the vaccines, not only have I reversed my position on Monsanto and GMO, not only have I reversed my position on so many things that are so prevalent in the allopathic holistic, I'm going to now reverse all of your perceptions of the smart meter so you don't live in fear. Because, oh, here we go, my husband's home. Hey, honey, I'm on Facebook Live. Okay, love you too. Bye. I'm just waiting for him to leave. Okay. Because not only are you going to be living in a world that's changing, you're going to have to adapt to your environment. And if you can't adapt to your environment, you're not going to make it. You are not going to make it. And this 5G is like an upset to homeostasis. Now, Chris Wilson said it best because he knows about my issues with people who are fear-mongering and activism on my page. And he was very, very strategic, which is a testament to him doing the juice. He's like, be careful those with weak bodies. But they should be careful no matter what. Those that have weak bodies need to be careful of everything that people are in fear of. Do you know why? Because you have not upgraded your device. You have not fixed the weaknesses. You have not taken care of things that need to get taken care of. And it's through no fault of your own until you come to my information. Once you come across my information, you have no excuse. And so two people I've just taken off my Facebook that I know aren't doing the J juice, been exposed to it, have been a proponent for it, but they're still heavily into the fear of the 5G, still heavily fear of the vaccines. And here's the thing. If you have a strong body, strong bodies will be able to handle the changes in the environment because that's how the body is made. That's how my dog is made. That's how all of life, the trees, the plants, the animals, the humans, they are made to adapt to the environment. Oh, look, there's my dog. <laughs> Speaking of, <laughs> they are made to adapt to the environment. And if animals can't adapt or if they can, if, well, if animals, since they're not, they don't have opposable thumbs, they're not thinking logically, sugar is not going to go and take cabbage water and salt and put it in a jar and let it ferment for like three days plus. No, she has a system that will stop extinction, which is called reproduction. That's why we have reproductive cells and reproductive system to be able to procreate and keep the human species going forward should there be an upset of homeostasis. And right now we have winter, spring, summer, and fall, which is basically an upset of homeostasis. That's changes in the environment. That's called, that's called environment changing and then that, that all of biodiversity has to adapt. Okay, so right now I just got the 5G meter put in. Well, my body is going to adapt to that to that extra data that's in the air and in my ether. That's just data in the ether. It's no different than upgrading your system with the J-juice and then taking on new information. And you keep expanding and evolving with all this data. So that, if anything, that 5G on a strong body is going to be extra data. Those that are in fear of 5G and vaccines and viruses and germs, and all that stuff, have weak bodies that can't handle the extra data in their environment. They will not be able to handle the changes in their environment. It, it, it will, it'll just be too much for them. They will go into major overdrive and glitch. And you're watching people glitch. Just look, just look at the fear mongers around Jeju. They're glitching like crazy. They can't handle this extra data because they have not upgraded their body or their system. Anyone that's in fear, regardless of what it is, I don't care what it is, you have not upgraded your device to be able to handle the changing environment. 
And so my information, the 5G, the vaccines, the viruses, all the climate change is basically an upgrade of the environment. And if you can't adapt to it and you can't upgrade your system to be able to, to manage that change, there'd be nothing you can handle. And then you're going to go out with a bang. And you'll justify your bad behavior. I deal with people that cannot upgrade their systems all the time because my information is way too much for some people. And so my information actually caused people to glitch because they don't know how to handle it. Their, their system is so malfunctioned and so weak and so just, how do I say it? Malfunction, weak, full of just issues that this information, Jilly Juice, they will never ever be able to process it. And you have to accept that some of you. Some of you want to like try to ram this down some of your friends' throats. Some of you don't have the capacity, the brain capacity, because really what truly is, is what keeps people on the J-Juice is the strength of their brain. Remember, all your vital organs are being kept up as a priority because it's still in reserves. So if you, like you saw a picture of Heidi, a picture of her, of her before J-Juice and then during the J-Juice, and you see her body is coming back, her collagen is coming back, and I'm like, damn, you know, I'm so happy you're able to, to, to have this strength. But she didn't have the body strength. It's not about the body strength, really, because your body will be able to handle. It's the mind strength. And if you are degrading the system, but your brain didn't suffer any crazy deficits, and then you come across J-Juice and you get it because you have the brain capacity to get it, you'll be able to withstand even the most aggressive healing process because you know in your mind because your brain is able to process information and understand cause and effect, you'll withstand the arduous physical healing process as well as the spiritual healing process. But if you're coming in with a deficit to your brain, if you have a deficit to your brain, you won't be able to handle the healing process because your brain will talk you out of it and will, will gravitate towards the anesthetization. And I'm telling you, there are smart people out there but they're not smart enough to understand this information to be able to handle the strength of the healing process. Their brain will talk them out of it because it came in with a deficit. It's really the brain that has people handle the healing process. The brain over the body. And the brain is part of the body. But your ability to process information comes from the fact that your body gave all the reserves that it had to your brain as it was trying to survive because you have malabsorption. So when I have this 5G, I'm now going to look forward to seeing how my body is going to respond to it. Will I say, okay, I have these, all these now crazy revelations, and I'm not going to say correlation equals causation, but now that's another factor in my environment. It's another factor in my, in my environment. It's going to cause me to then evolve to the next level of human consciousness. That's how you guys have to look at all of the changes in your environment, whether it's climate change, bacteria change, you know, viruses, and 5G and even political change. Right now, Trump, those of you who are afraid of Trump, I'm telling you, you won't be able to, to adapt to your environment. No matter what, no matter what kind of information is being thrown at you, you should be able to convert that information to benefit not only you, but also your audience. And if you're so afraid of Trump, and if you're so afraid of all these different things, even Putin, like I've come from the, I'm not saying I have fear, but I understand the propaganda being used out there to get people either weaker because they're going to be now um, emoting and causing more harm to their hormones, or someone's going to take that information and convert it to then be something they can use. And I have. You know, Putin wants to live. Trump wants to live. Will they actually apply JJ's? Probably not. But we can still live despite what they're doing. But we keep weakening ourselves and our audience by, you know, falling into the fear factor and the bashing of our politicians. Guess what? You're not going to survive the changes because I'm telling you, there's going to be someone worse than Trump out there. Okay? And if you can't even negotiate Trump, there's no way you're going to negotiate anything else that comes out because you, you, you can't predict what changes are going to happen in the future. Okay? You will not be able to predict that. And so if you can't handle Trump and you're so pissed off at Trump or you're pissed off at Putin, or you're pissed off at 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 um, Obama. Oh, honey, you won't be able to handle anything else. You will not. Who is M. Nico? A mother, a wife, amateur musician, and she's laughing. 
she will not have the benefit of this information. Goodbye, M. Nico. You don't get the benefit of this information. And some of those are the casualties of this war. But it's not really a war, it's just, you know, it's a war of information, the war of strength and, and whatever. There's going to be casualties regardless. Okay? So I'm telling you, if you can't handle the current politicians of today and you're railing against policy, anything that you're afraid of, I don't care who it is, whether it's a politician or 5G or, or climate change or, or vaccines or, you know, anything, any ounce of fear that you have, any ounce of anything like that, you will not be able to adapt to your change environment. Because I'm telling you, things are only going to get worse before it gets better. Remember, the earth goes through its own healing process. Earth does its own fermentation. It does its own macro and micronutrition. It has its own electrolytes. It gets disease and cancers because it, it tolerates stuff. It has, you know, uh, its own ignorance. And then it learns through evolution. So Earth is going through its own healing process. And, you know, it's going to get worse before it gets better. And if you can't handle it getting worse before it gets better, there's never, you're not going to be able to survive the next evolution of humanity you're not going to and we already are seeing now a potential reset there's been human 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 reset resets have been happening for hundreds and thousands of years and there's always a, still a percentage of the population that's able to carry the human species forward to the next evolution the next level of consciousness some of you won't make it others of you will because you know how to adapt you know how to not instill fear you know how to deal with the, the, the current conditions that you're dealing with, I mean, that you have, and your brain is stronger than anything else that's out there, which means that you're able to process information and then allow your body to go through what it needs to go through to get to the next level. So that before and after picture that you just saw on my, on my timeline is a testament to show you that the J-juice does give back your mineral reserves. And then you're starting to see your hormones level out. And if you can't handle the healing process, well, you, those of you that can't handle the healing process already have issues in, in other parts of your world. You haven't set boundaries. You're still afraid of the politicians and you're fearful of other cultures and other things. You're still playing the activist game, activism game. So it's just another you know, thing that, you, that you're not going to be able to survive, that you're going to rail against. Some of you just need to chill the hell out, do the J-juice, get off the activism, and just allow your body to heal. Stop running trains on yourself. Stop exercising to such an extent that it's causing your issues. And I'm telling you, the yoga people and all the exercise gurus and the, and, and, and the aerobics people and, and those that are doing decathlons and pentathlons and all this stuff, you're working against yourself, okay? You've got everybody right now, everyone that's on my Facebook, everyone that's watching me right now, you haven't given yourself time enough to heal, to then justify your lifestyle, okay? And all of you are living a very busy lifestyle in some way or another, whether it's out there working, whether it's raising kids, or whether it's plain activism on the internet, you have not given yourself a chance to heal. You need to give yourself a chance to heal, and then, hey, who knows what then the future is gonna hold you'll put down your arms and stop the activism and you start actually exemplifying what you truly want from your politicians and from your government that you're not seeing because really you're not going to see it in them because you haven't exemplified a reason for them to get off your back. You have not given a reason for biotech to stop putting out all these different types of products that you're so against. None of you have given our society a reason to then cater to your every whim of idealism. You know, you're putting the cart before the horse. You actually have to exemplify well-balanced health that a body can heal on its own with the right nutrition. And if you can't exemplify that, then of course you're going to see a reflection of your thought process out there on the market, in the pharmacy stores, in the holistic stores. You're going to see a reflection of really, truly what you're portraying. And you're not portraying well-balanced behavior. So your society is a reflection of exactly what goes on in your internal universe. And I see it in my you know, world too, but you know what? My medicine cabinet, my bathroom cabinet is a reflection of what goes on in my body. My, um, 
My cupboard is a reflection of how well balanced I am that I can negotiate every single element, every single mineral, every single food that's in my cabinet. I'm not afraid of anything. As long as it's FDA approved, I could eat it. I don't play the discrimination game. You know why? Because I finally got the weaknesses fixed and strengthened. I actually, when I heard the knock on the door, because I was like, what the hell is like ate something and knock on the door and, and wow, there was the, the there's the electrician, the, the AEP guy. Got to put your smart mirror like, oh, goody. I was actually excited because now I'm going to prove to everybody that I can actually thrive and live and do amazing despite having 5G. Now, those that are weak around me, well, you know, it's just another factor. If you can't upgrade your device, you're not going to be able to, to, to adapt to your changing environment. And 5G is representation of change in your environment. If you can't go into one environment over another, that's not so aggressive. Obviously, if you walk into a gas chamber or you walk into a nuclear war you know, area, yeah, you're going to have to deal with excess radiation. And then you have to you know, either up your intake of JJ's or get the hell out. But they obviously did enough tests to figure out that whatever radiation these five these five G slash smart meters are putting out there are going to be perfectly safe for the general human population. So, all these stupid people calling. So yeah, so you guys, if you yeah, if you can't. If you can't adapt to your environment, there's no way you're gonna adapt to anything else. And so I just can't wait just to see. I mean, not that I can't wait. There's really nothing to really look forward to. It's just, it's just another extra thing and another element in my environment that I have to be aware of. But I don't have to be aware of. I just keep drinking my J juice, and my body will adapt. Okay. Even those that live in like the Chernobyl areas, they have to adapt to their environment. And there is still life despite Chernobyl. When you see environmental, you know, devastation from access like the oil spills, the environment does come back eventually. It's just an upset of homeostasis. Then, then there's the adaptation. Photosynthesis still happens. Other elements will go in and dilute. And the environment will come back. And then we learn from our mistakes. Okay? And then we just move on. And so, you know, really, truly, if humanity was that out of touch with learning from past mistakes, we would have oil spills upon oil spills, and the whole earth would then be devastated, and humans couldn't live on it because we would have oil minerals and all that all over the place, killing every single life. And no, it's, it's not, we just have occasional things that happen by accident. And then we find other ways to then mitigate or shorten the healing process by utilizing certain elements but it's still going to go through a healing process earth's going through a healing process we have too many ignorant people on this earth that don't know how to utilize the elements to their advantage so guess what they play the fear and live in a bubble type of situation which is going to cause them more issues because now they can't handle any kind of environment except for their own little universe and as soon as they step out of their own little universe oh my god everything hits them all at once and then they glitch and then that's when how fast the death process happens because people don't transition themselves to adapt to their environment. They try to jump from their world into something other to another world and they haven't set themselves up correctly. And so this is what the J juice does. It gives you guys a transition point to be able to handle your environment, to handle the changes. Because obviously most of you, if not all of you are not adapting very well to the new changes, to the new change management. And so luckily we have JJ's to help us transition. And those that understand JJ's will transition nicely. Others that don't understand JJ's will try to jump from one thing to another and they won't have the, the physical capability or the mental or the spiritual capacity to be able to handle how fast and how moving information is going as well as all the bacteria and viruses that are out there, which is basically data. It's not bad, but it's only bad on weak bodies. But the bacteria and the viruses and the different chemist chemical processes are great on strong bodies. 
And then you have the intelligence, your body has the intelligence to know how to negotiate those elements. And sometimes you may have to leave an environment that is too overpowering for your biochemistry. Okay. And then your body will also clue you in on when to leave an environment too, or when to put boundaries down against another toxic based upon your biochemistry. Toxicity is only based upon what you bring to the table. What's toxic to you may not be toxic to somebody else, just so you understand that. Toxicity is, is really the perception of the receiver. It's not an overall uniform. There are specific conglomeration of elements that are overall uniformly yes are bad. Like running a car engine in a closed environment. Carbon monoxide poisoning is a universally horrific thing. Drinking Drano is a universally horrific thing. But when it's been FDA approved, EPA approved, biotech approved for the most part, anything in biotech that's approved for human exposure, you'll be able to negotiate that. But if you have a very weak body, it won't matter what the hell you're exposed to. You're going to have adverse reactions. So you better take some responsibility to learn how to adapt to your environment. And if you can't, then get off my Facebook. I don't need to hear anyone's fear mongering about the 5G. If 5G was that bad, I wouldn't be alive. Because <laughs> I just put it in and you think I got a dose of radiation and I'm still good. 5G smart meters. I have 5G, but smart meters. So I got the 5G just a couple months ago. Now I have the smart meter. And they're putting smart meters in every single house on this block. I'm watching them go down each house, knocking on the door, the guy behind me. They're putting in smart meters regardless. Some of you are going to try to stop them from doing it. Good luck. Good luck. And you think you stop them putting a smart meter in your house, you're going to escape the elements. Oh, sorry, honey, you're surrounded by it. You're just making it harder for your for the corporations to take care of you the way you want to be taken care of because you wouldn't be in our side. You'd be living out there naked and afraid if you think that you're so independent from the corporations. I actually kind of laugh at those who are like, oh, I'm going to stop the smart meter man from implementing smart meters. And they're busy on their computer, on their phones. Oh my God, it makes me laugh. So yeah, took off two people. So my 5G is is trapping the trolls that say they're doing J-Juice or like my information, but they're not doing J-Juice and they don't get my information and they can't help but be an activist. Bye. I don't, I don't want your representation of J-Juice. I mean, believe me, I don't want everybody's love. It's not everybody's love is, is, is really, you know, benevolent. Some people love with agendas. I'll love you if only you would prop up this agenda or hey you know let's do quid pro quo i support you but you support me doesn't mean that i here's the thing when you play the i support you you support me type of thing it's an expectation you're saying that for me to support you for me for you to support me that i have to support you even if i don't believe in what you believe in that's not how it works if you're going to support somebody you do it without an agenda you don't expect them to pay for your support. Okay. When it comes to the J juice, the information is free. But if you want the support, if you want the support, then yeah, I mean, it's like you buy the book so we know where you're coming from because it's our energy that's being expended. But it doesn't mean that I'm going to go and prop up all of your pages and prop up everything. You know, it just depends. If, if you and I are aligned, then great, I will. But if we're not, then why would I support your stuff? I mean, that's just what it comes down to. Okay. So, I mean, I don't play those agenda games. So some people are toxic to me because I see that there's an agenda behind their support. Some people are just benevolent. They understand where I'm coming from. And I see the potential of where they can go with the J-Juice to help their profession. You know, I come from the mainstream. I have, I, shit, I was raised off the mainstream protocols as far as 
the therapies and stuff. And, and they're fine for what they are. I mean, they got people through hard situations. But now we're raising the bar. Now we have a higher expectation from our therapies. We have a higher expectation from the medical holistic community. And some won't be able to make that higher expectation, but we can change how in which they do business and how in which they help their clients and customers. And some that are very, you know, they're very authentic, will find ways to implement J-Juice in some way, or at least drop seeds. I mean, obviously you can't force anybody to do J-Juice. But you know that some people need to have immediate triage, and I understand that. And hopefully the J-Juice will help you be a better triage person, because that's really what it comes down to. Is J-Juice going to make you better at your profession to where they make, to where then you can find really strategic, revolutionary ways to improve your profession. I mean, that's really what J-Juice is there for, is to really find a way to improve your profession, to make it better. And will ultimately people do J-Juice on it? Not necessarily, you know, because this is something people have to, people have to come to terms with pain with J-Juice. But if there's a way to make your profession better, Okay, to at least drop seeds of a little bit of change in people. Hey, and I don't even know what it looks like, you know, as far as the outcome. Because we're still getting people, you know, onto this protocol and changing their own biochemistry, which is ultimately going to change their way of doing business. And maybe we'll get professors and people in academia that will take this on and teach the students new and different ways of doing things. So, I mean, it, it's difficult when everything is predicated upon pain annihilation, <laughs> healing annihilation. It's gonna be very interesting to see how we're going to introduce facing the pain, okay? So anyways, yeah, the thing with the smart meters is just another example. The fear of the smart meter is just another example of people just fearing their environment, fearing change, and fearing adaptation. And the whole point of biodiversity is the ability to adapt to your environment. And we already have measures in place. We already have agencies in place to make sure that the general population can survive the changes, the incremental changes that are going on. And then J-Juice helps you transition through those changes. And that, I think, I'm telling you, the universe was working through all of you guys, as well as through me. Because they knew that we're going to be going through some major changes. And understand how to harness the right elements to upgrade your device to handle the new programming is key for the next level of humanity. Because we've gone through so many different resets. I mean, look at the fall of Rome, Atlantis, um, all the different civilizations that rose and fell, Genghis Khan and all of his people, the Mongols, the rise and fall of civilizations came from the fact that there are some people that are able to handle the next evolution and others succumbed. Okay? Others succumbed to it. So, um, so yeah, so, you know, the J-Juice, telling you guys, it is the next thing. And some of you will be able to handle it, others you won't, whatever, fine. But the 5G is like a new virus. It's more data for those that can handle it. Weak bodies won't be able to handle anything anyway, so it won't even matter. Those that are afraid of, of 5G won't be able to handle the J-Juice. Not in the least. So anyone that, so yeah, I mean, if you're already anti-vax, you're anti-5G, and you're anti-chemtrails, you're trying to use J-Juice as a remedy. <laughs> you're not going to survive the next the next sequence of life. You're not going to survive it. And, Mar and, I, I, and here's the thing. I really had a lot of hope for some people in the chemtrails world. But they're not going to survive the next evolution. They're not going to survive it. Because the brain capacity is not able to withstand the healing process. It, it, and it sucks because you really, I, I really do have a lot of hope for those that I that I've worked with in the activist community. I really did, but many of them are not going to survive. And you're watching, I'm watching some of them right now that are going through, in and out of the hospital, 
the pain is intense, their issues are intense, you know, and it's just like, ugh. but those are examples of what not to be like. Those are examples of those that cannot handle their environment. And it's just, you know, it's, it's just, just observe, just observe you guys and then do the J juice. Be thank, be thankful you have the access to this information. Be very thankful. Sugar, come here, come here, sugar, sugar, come here, come here, sugar, come here, come here, come on down. She she hates it when I get on Facebook Live because every single time I get on Facebook Live, she wants to whine. She's already been out. She she already went poop. She's eaten pretty much. Um, and she just doesn't like the fact that I get on Facebook Live. It's okay, baby. But she is an example of this is hold on. See, she's an example of a doggy on J juice. And she's just she's full of love. She's full of just wanting to have my attention. She's a cuddler. She fixed all of her issues. She's, she's going to be able to adapt to the ever-changing environment because she has me as an owner, which means I have now a lifetime of responsibility to make sure that she's taken care of. And, you know, anyone that takes on an animal, especially on J-Juice, it's a lifetime venture. Any animal that dies on, that dies, any animal that has someone doing J-Juice that dies, you've ignored your animals. You've allowed your animals to expire. And... That's disappointing, but I know it happens. And so, you know, I put my dog on J-Juice. I transitioned her nicely on it. <laughs> hey, Edith. I transitioned her very, you know, and she went through the healing process. I knew what it was. And now she's just like a person. She is really just like a person. Yes. See, you see? And she's just a good dog. She's just a good dog, but she also can be a pain in my ass sometimes, especially when she wants attention. So, you know, I mean, anytime you take on a life, whether it's a child, whether it's an animal, you have now 100% responsibility, especially if you're on J-Juice, to make sure they live as long as you're alive. And if they die prior to you, what did you do? What did you do? What did you not do to keep them alive or to cause their death? And so this is like, you know, when people, you know, they, their dogs get lost or they get out or it's like, how does a dog just get out? I mean, if my dog was a runner, she wouldn't be outside without some kind of enclosure. And then I would reinforce everything. But, you know, I, you know, when I first had sugar, when I first got her, I didn't know that she was going to stick around. I just didn't know. So I wasn't going to risk it. I mean, we, we lived next to a street that was real close in a busy road with big, huge truck rumbling by. I always had her on a leash in the front yard. At some point when we had trust and I knew that she was trustworthy, I could let her off the leaf, leash and she wouldn't run off. She loves me that much that she would not just run off. She would listen to me just like that. And then I got her on the J juice and she became even more in tune. She is an extension of my, my biochemistry before she was like me, high anxiety. And she was a power chewer. And you hear about uh, pit bulls being power chewers and there really is no toy except for like maybe the Kong that be able to withstand a pit bulls power chewing. Well, yeah, they have strong jaws, but the anxiety, the separation, anxiety, all of the issues, the animals, have that they're born with because they keep being reproduced and they keep being bred and so every single generation has more issues it has the hip dysplasia the anxiety the the skin issues the um yeah i mean heart issues yeast issues cushing's disease and so finally with the j juice my dog has dealt with every single genetic predisposition and now she stopped power chewing she chews on her bone only occasionally if a dog is chewing on their bone or ripping apart tennis balls as if it was like i don't know as if it was like some kind of crazy enemy they have anxiety 
when your dog is power chewing, it has anxiety. That's an imbalance in their body, mind, and spirit. As soon as my dog got on J-Juice and she went through the healing process, guess what? The tennis balls don't even exist anymore. Even giving her bones with a marrow, she, let, she will like tuck them away for later on. She doesn't even eat food right away. When I give her food, she like walks away from it. Then she goes back and then she walks away from it. Then she goes back and she, I'm like, what the hell? Like I'm watching these behaviors. It's such a trip, you know? And then, and I have the food, like I'll, I'll mix it with rice and with sweet potato from the can and then her kibble. And then I'll give her some of my juice and she'll go to the dish and she'll just like, she'll like nose her dish up as if she wants to save it. Cause she does that with some foods that I give her. I hate her doing that because what happens is we have mice and mice will then look for the food that she's bearing. So I have to watch her every time, single time I give her like a big chunk of something that she wants to go and save. And I make her eat it right then and there, or I put it in her dish. But that's what she wants to do with the food. When I give her food with like little treats in there and everything, she wants to go and bury that and save it for a later time because she doesn't want to have it right now. So she's not even like wanting to eat 24 seven. She doesn't want to chew 24 seven. She doesn't want to eat 24 seven. I mean, like watching her behavior, I see how well balanced she is. And then I look at her fur. Then I look at her demeanor and I look at how she interacts with me. She doesn't run off. You know, she's just really like, if you look at her right now, she's just, she's just chill. She's just very chill. She's very patient. I know she wants to go outside, but she already, you know, she wants to go out and hang out and, and sniff around and lay out in the sun. And I understand that and I will do that with her, but just see how patient she is, you know, and um, <laughs> I, I see you sugar. Okay. So Anyone that takes on an animal, it's a lifetime venture. Any animal that dies under J-Juice, it's the owner's responsibility. They knew about J-Juice and the power of J-Juice on humans as well as animals. And you let your animal pass away on J-Juice and you're doing J-Juice. What did you not do? Did you look at your animal as expendable? That they're not worth living indefinitely. If you put your worth over your animal's worth, you shouldn't have an animal. So, you know, I have a lifetime commitment for this animal, <laughs> lifetime. I have a lifetime commitment to my husband. Okay, anytime I get into a, a, a commitment of either marriage or taking on something that depends upon me, it's a lifetime commitment. It's not, well, yeah, I'll have her for like 10 years and that's it and then I'll go out. No, I have her forever. And I'm gonna have to figure out once, you know, once something happens that if I want to ever want to go on vacation with my husband without the animal, she has to be taken care of in some way. And she will be. And I'm going to figure that out. <laughs> Who do I trust to take on my dog <laughs> when I'm gone? That is a difficult thing for myself because nobody takes care of like my animal like, my, like I do. Nobody does. Because I know my dog. I know her strengths and I know her weaknesses. And I also know how territorial she is around this house too. <laughs> Not that she'll bite anybody, but, um, but yeah, but I know her, her genetic makeup and her, you know, she's built to, to, to protect. All right. So anyways, I will talk to you guys later. Don't be afraid of the 5G. And, and if you are afraid of the 5G, don't profess it on my Facebook. Don't, because that will be grounds for a dismissal. That really will be. I hear you, sugar. <laughs> you want to go outside? Want to go lay out in the sun? Yeah? You want to go outside? Want to go outside? See, she's reading me like, look at that. Aww. What? What do you want, sugar? Want to go outside? Huh? Aww. Right? Yeah? You want to? You want to go outside? Want to go potty? Okay, we'll go outside. All right. I'm going to go do my thing, but you guys have a good one, okay? I got to take care of my animal. <laughs> All right. Bye.